Hey everybody and welcome to Braxtec and today we are exploring Okanichi Speedway. This track was raced at from 1948 to 1968 so, and I cannot wait to get started. But before we get started make sure to like and subscribe and click that notification bell for updates when future videos come out. Make sure to leave a comment on ideas for a future video. Anyways, let's get exploring. When you walk down that little trail, come up to the ticket booth. Come up to the window, pay your price, get a ticket, and walk on in. Oh man, look at this. Looks like this race took place on Sunday, September 25th. One thing that's really disappointing is it doesn't tell us what year. Walking down the path, we find a old outhouse. I would not like to be in here yeah, either. Just look in there. Uh, there's lots of junk in there. Yeah, the door's locked. Obviously. Huh? Danger zone! Here's a list of a bunch of drivers. Pause the video and see if you know any of these drivers. Boy, there's a lot of them. As we're walking on the trail, we find this late 30s Ford dirt car. It's pretty cool. Herbert Cates, or <clears throat> take a look inside. Looks like this driver gutted out everything. Just put a simple seat in. And he's all good. Luca mentioned that these tires look newer. Also, uh, these aren't very squishy, but uh, over here, yeah, these are pretty squishy over here. Looks like this car was in a wreck because it's ready for the tow truck to hook it up. Looking in this interior again, I'm now seeing that there's a roll cage in here. Yeah, I was about to say that. Continuing to walk down the path, we're seeing this old Chevy. This thing's awesome. Tires flat, fenders broke. Look at this interior, there's nothing in it, just like that Ford. Kept the seat in it, and this dude, he got a new dashboard, much lighter. And we're trying to figure out what this dude did to this steering wheel. It almost looks like he wrapped it up with tape. 72 car. This mod's pretty interesting. A bunch of holes in the hood. Probably for better airflow to the engine. And speaking of the engine, if you look under here, they still got the engine in there. On the side, they got this weird bowl thing. I don't, I don't know what car, what logo that goes with. If you know, tell me in the comment section below. But man, this is a good car. Walking up the. Uh, old grandstand stairs. Yeah, this is pretty cool. We're at the stands right now. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. Not very comfortable seats right here. A family just pointed out a concession stand, so we're gonna check that out. Pretty dark in here, but... Very open. Just another window. Looks like Pepsi Cola was the official soft drink of the racetrack. Funny little boy here. This is crazy. Can I have some Gatorade please? Uh, sorry sir, we're out of stock. Uh, make sure to come back. <laughs> You're drinking one. <laughs> make sure to come back soon. What? No I'm not. No I'm not. <laughs> I don't even think Gatorade existed in the 1950s. Back in the 40s, there was this farmer who we're just going to call Farmer Brown for now had a farm. He wanted to build a horse racing track, so he did. It is a pretty popular track, but he wanted to do more, so he made a dirt track on his property too. It was one of the most popular tracks in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Unlike most tracks today, on the corners there is no elevation change and there's no tilting of the track. 
so the track is completely flat. Now you might be wondering, why did they even leave the track in the first place? Well back in the day, Raleigh, North Carolina was becoming a really popular city. Good colleges, good jobs, and it was just a good place to live. So everybody moved there. Ticket sales started to drop, which meant the track did not make as much money as it once did. So they had to close the track down. But there wasn't any special ceremony or anything. They just left it for nature to take it over. And nature really took over the track until 2003, when the city that the track was in started to restore the track. They turned it into a park where you could walk around the track. And that is how we are here today. So right there's turn four, and if you overcooked it on the corner, you would have landed in this big river. The chances of uh, you getting out of this river safely is uh, not very high. So right now we're in the infield of the track. Back in the 40s and 50s, this was a um, this was a horse racing track. We've uh, walked the entire nine-tenths of a mile. So now, gotta say goodbye to Okanichi Speedway. This place is mostly just a dirt path with trees around it. There's not much here. Oh, and if you haven't already, subscribe to Homestead Homeboy. We are now back from Okanichi Speedway. That was super fun. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe and click that notification bell for updates when future videos come out. Make sure to leave a comment on ideas for a future video. Anyways, this is Braxton from Brax Tech signing off. Where the big chief sleeps beneath the trees, there's a shadow where a racetrack used to be, where the roar of the crowd is a memory down at Okanichi. On a Sunday near the sleepy town, the fast cars are going round and round, where the big chief sleeps beneath the ground.